long-awaited trailer for the new rebooted and Michael Bay produced Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie debuted this morning. The movie was directed by Jonathan Liebsman and stars Megan Fox as April O'Neil, William Fickner as Shredder, and Will Arnett as Vernon Fenwick, April O'Neil's cameraman. The movie opens in AMC theaters on August 8, 2014. Dennis, what do you think of this first trailer? I'm unimpressed by it. I don't think it's terrible, but I saw, like, they had a 30 second preview on the Today Show this morning. Will Arnett came in delivering pizza. He played the character <laughs> in the movie. And they showed this 30 second uh -oh. preview. And I saw it and I was like, okay, I'm going to wait till I see the full trailer to decide because I want to see more. When they released the, the full trailer, it was actually only 90 seconds and it barely showed any new footage at all. And it didn't look anything exciting. For all the negative attention this movie has been getting from the fans, especially the hardcore fans, I thought they would show us something that would wow us, that would have like a, a bunch of cool action sequences so that people would change their minds about it. And they really didn't. I still don't buy William Fickner. I like him as an actor. I don't buy him as Shredder. Mm. I mean, Shredder's supposed to be a Japanese ninjutsu master. <laughs> Not a business, not Wait, a business, he's not? Man. he's not supposed to be a business man. Like, yeah. and he's talking to April O'Neil, played by Megan Fox, about, you know, your father and I were working together on these things. And it, it just sounds kind of like Amazing Spider-Man 2 with, with the whole Norman Osborn Oscorp thing and Peter Parker and his father. So, yeah, I just, I, I'm just not impressed. And I, I think we should have seen more. What about you, Chrisley? wearing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles t-shirt. <laughs> so I had my shirt on today. Uh, I did not watch the trailer until I got into the studio. And the first seconds I started getting goosebumps and then it was over and I was like, that's it? I don't understand, that, that's all we get? Wait, there has to be more. Did, did it skip? Did, I was so disappointed as well. And you know, I was excited for this and I know a lot of the fans weren't. I like Michael Bay, I like Megan Fox, I like a lot of different things that are going on. The beginning of the trailer seemed like it was gonna give me a little bit more. I, I kind of want that little bit of funniness, so when I saw that it's just a mask, you know, it got me to smirk, but I don't feel like they gave us enough to get excited about it, and I'm, I was so excited about this movie, and I've seen some pictures from behind the scenes, and they look amazing, and I'm, I want to be excited about it, but from this trailer, I was just unsatisfied. Dan? Well, when did Megan Fox and Michael Bay make up? Did I miss her? I, I thought he like hated her and fired her, I and now so she's too. starring in another movie of his. Apparently, yeah. she, rumor is that she personally apologized to him, and they made up a few years ago. And Wouldn't then, you if there was going to be a new <laughs> huge franchise coming? Just saying. But then she gets a movie? Yes. I've had a feud with Michael Bay that he knows nothing about for years. <laughs> I'll apologize if you'll give me a movie. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wow. Well, but um, what do you think of the trailer? The trailer, I couldn't be less excited for this movie, but I have to admit the trailer wasn't bad, I didn't think. I thought I thought they looked really creepy. You know, with like, you know, uh, technology advancing, the faces were a little more human. They had more expression to them, which is good, but it's also really creepy. I got that kind of like clown feeling, you know, mm -hmm. like when you look at a clown who's supposed yeah. to be happy, but it's scary. Clowns are freaky. That's so kind of, yeah, that, that's kind of what I thought, but I, it didn't look nearly as bad as I was expecting. Yeah, I didn't mind the CGI turtles. I mean, the first movie was there were rubber suits, so obviously, oh, the rubber yeah. suits. So obviously back the rubber suits. technology yeah. has advanced <laughs> since then. And so I, it's not that I mind the look of it. I just, I'm not sure about the whole story. Yeah. And, and some, of some of the action sequences that you did see looked really exciting, but it still just wasn't enough for me as a fan to get really excited about it. And I really wanted a Cowabunga, I'm not gonna lie. Would, would really a Cowabunga in 2014 have the same effect though? As a cowabunga in the '90s, like, I, I don't even think it had. Yeah. I don't think it even had an effect in the '90s. <laughs> I think it was one of those things. I'm in the, the Lone Ranger. Because <laughs> I, 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 I read the comic books, <laughs> which was much darker and mm -hmm. serious. And I think they had said cowabunga maybe once or twice mm -hmm. in the comic books, and so they took that out and made it like a thing in the right. cartoon series. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.